Hey guys, it's Brandon, aka Be Rich Beauty, aka your beauty best friend. And beauty besties, I told you I was gonna hit y'all with a double hitter with Spring Trend. Today we're talking Spring Trend lash, liner, and color with a special guest. So you know what to do. Grab your beverage. Let go. Ladies and gentlemen, do y'all see this magnificent face in front of me? Baby, you. Well, you I'm talking you. about you, you, the one over here with the, the cascading waves of the uh, of the, the 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 curly waves. No, it's not even the curly waves, your finger waves. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. AKA the curly waves, aka the finger waves. Ladies and gentlemen, Romero Jennings is back. Hi, Romero. Hello, Brandon. You are incredible. I don't know how you do that intro every time, but you did such a great job and I'm excited to be here. <laughs> I'm excited to have you back. All the new beauty besties, welcome on in. You know, if you're here and you're new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, sugar, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on all the good old melanated magic. And for all the beauty besties that's not new to this, but true to this, welcome on in. It's so good to see you. Romero, what you drinking over there, sugar? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a little country time. <laughs> It really is. <laughs> Listen, it, you mean country time is in what's in the cup or country time because it's a plastic cup? Both and both because it's country time in the cup and because it's a plastic cup. <laughs> I'm doing, I love it. I'm doing um, sparkling green tea with a little bit of pineapple juice by a brand that mm -hmm. I shall not name because I'm not being paid for it. So <laughs> it's quite refreshing though. <laughs> All right, guys. So Romero, I mm. am in love with, we're talking spring trends. And, you know, you're the a makeup guru. And I did a spring trend for lips um, a couple of weeks ago. And I teased mm -hmm. them and I said, Let, I'm going to bring you more spring trends. And so I'm so grateful that you showed up today and decided to talk spring trends. We're going to be doing a little bit of makeup today for you all. If you're not following Romero Jennings on all platforms, the Instagram, the TikTok and everybody else, you're missing out. Romero, you did some really great makeup this season for New York Fashion Week. Who did you... Who and what did you do, sugar? Thank you. And you're right. If you're not following, you're only getting half the story. So, yes, thank you. You know, I've done it's been an, amazing. It's been amazing. But just recently, actually last month, doing um, the Blondes Fashion Show for New York Fashion Week. So an incredible collection. Of course, you know, it's all about crystals and and reflection and color and, you know, being a little bad. So this season, it was it. about this sort of... Um, she was sort of like an alien futuristic devil, right? So think of all that, add some sparkle, and we were at the Blondes Fashion <laughs> Week. So it really was about this elongated, this trend that's out right now. It's about this long eyeliner. Okay. Think, think euphoria, think all these different eyeliner looks. So just long and elongated eyeliner that we did with the liquid liner from MAC. But we also used the latest MAC Stack mascara, which you know is my favorite. I'm wearing it today. So Max Stack nearby. Yes, yes, Max Stack has made its debut during New York Fashion Week, Paris, Milan, all the fashion weeks around. And you could see it in um this amazing show, The Blondes, that I helped to design the makeup for. So I want to jump right in. First of all, I love watching the blondes every single season because mm -hmm. it's not your run-of-the-mill, like simple office type of looks for mm -hmm. wearability and or for makeup. And that mm -hmm. just makes me always excited, sugar. I'm sorry, my mascara is moving. Um, let, me stick, <laughs> let me stick it up further up here, shall where it can be nice and safe and secure. Um, so you said um, elongated liner. We talked about mascara and lashes. Uh, why don't we jump right into it? How do we achieve sure. elongated liner and also okay. lash as well? Well, amazing because there were there were two trends. It was that elongated liner. The other one was the winged lash, right? And all okay. it really means is if you're curling your lash first using like a lash curler, and you know me, I love the half lash curler. You, you love a half, I love a full. Yeah, to get the wing look really easily, don't curl the inner corner to here, just curl the outer and kick oh. it up. But today you could see that I did a full curl. But even if you do full the curl. full curl, you can go in with your Mac Stack and I'm using the micro brush. So of course, you know that Mac Stack mascara comes in two brush options, right? Oh, I and love the, it. Your brush is clean. 
Yes. And this is the micro. So it's a little more tapered and tailored so you can get every lash. No lash is left behind. And if you want quick volumizing volume, you go with this brush. So you have between the mega and micro. So I'm using micro today. And I'm okay. just going to go in. And since we're doing Cherry Blossom Collection, I'm using my compact from that. And what's great about this brush that no one is talking about is that there's a little comb on the very tip of it. It and is. It's just it's just the way that they formulated and created this brush with the petal like sort of V shaped bristles. So it grabs and really tugs at the lash and creates this linear volume. So you really get no clumping with that. And look, it really just elongates the eye already by adding a little extra in the outer corner. Well, I love the shape of the, um, the micro because you have the precision. And mm -hmm. when you think about no child left behind, no lash left behind, it's all about getting in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I listen. Y'all see this, Romero? This tip of working on the outer corner. Mm -hmm. now, are you mega stacking in the inner and then micro stacking the outer corner? Like you can mega and my. You can mega and micro if you like. I'm doing it all with micro, but you, but whatever works best for you. I love playing with both uh, both brushes too. But honestly, I just want it to be fast and quick and to make them look like they're just growing with each stack. And the cool thing about this, and we've talked, I know you talk about it a lot, and I've done a few like um, tips and unboxings for this, is mm -hmm. you really can stack this um, a few times generously without it being um, super clumping, or you end up with that, like, you know, the Tammy Faye Baker three lashes, or Wait, the- Not that that is a problem, because that in itself is a trend. It is. I love a good chunky lash. <laughs> Me too. But you're right. What's great is you could build really quickly with the brush and formula and get this achievable, approachable, like really friendly, but show up lash. I mm -hmm. mean, listen, if we all make efforts, especially that everyone's going back out to work now, if you're making an effort, you want it to show, right? Like, I don't want to, I don't want it to look like I've wasted my time. Well, obviously you could tell, like, if I'm doing a, a wave, it's going to be serious. Listen. And you know that I worked on it, right? <laughs> when the finger wave comes out, Romero is here for business. Hmm. Yes, now, because you've seen it without gel too, and it's it's <laughs> that's cute. It's a look, but yeah. this just is this is just easy to maintain. Absolutely. So then, what's next? Are we going to do? Can we do this liner? We can do this liner, and what I'm going to do is I like using. Oh, I have it right here. So I uh, use a little AS ASMR. <laughs> so for me, I'm going to use the Extra Deep Studio Fix Conceal and Correct Palette. Okay. And I love using these as contour, as shadows for sk deeper skin tones. And all I'm doing is grabbing this chocolate brown right here uh -huh. with a pencil brush. And I'm just going to add a little bit of a flick, right, of this to really do like an extended liner. So super fast. It's a little smudge. Let's get rid of that. Right in the outer corner. Mm -hmm. You can see that. And all I'm doing is taking my finger and pulling. Look I at that. It. And it's Look. a brown cream. Just gives you like a little bit of a flick and just elongates the eye really easily. I'm going to use coffee eyeliner. I love this one. It's a nice little deep chocolatey brown for all the beauty besties out there. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that looks amazing. I'm going to just sneak a little bit of coffee right here. And just kind of do that same type of flick that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Like so. But I think I'm going to use a brush. Let's see okay. what brush I want to use. I'm going to use my angle brush. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to soften that up just a little. I love that. So you're using your angle brush. And I'm just using one of those skinny, skinny Q-tips. Uh -huh. And if you don't have a skinny Q-tip, you can break the head off a bigger Q-tip and just use the actual wand part. And I'm just going to do a little micro cleaning up here. Remember, this is a really great tip also for all the beauty besties that may have like a little bit of a descending eye. Doing mm -hmm. this underneath creates a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of a lift. Look at you. You may okay. be lifted to where you belong. I'm embarrassed because the other side looks so droopy now that I've like elevated the eye with that tip. I need to do this every day. All right, let's do the other side. <laughs> I love this. And this is super simple. So again, trending during Fashion Week in New York, mm -hmm. Romero did you know, was the key makeup artist for the blonde. So he definitely was backstage seeing some of these trends come to life. Now, ooh, yes, please. Ooh, that looks great on you. Thank you. I'm actually going to do a little. 
right in the actual inner corner. Just a little definition, actually. And wait, listen, I know you have a young following here, but I want to talk about mature eyes, right? Come on and, with it. Come on. And, yes. And this effect and how it just helps to, I mean, you saw that it gave me such a lift already. The other eye just looked like it was coming down. So it's a great way to balance uneven eyes by doing this elongated look with the liner and the extension from just the Mac Stack Mascara alone. I mean, if you could sp save a couple hundred dollars from having to go see Dr. 902, whatever your area code is, <laughs> yes. who would not want to with just a little bit of makeup? And you could do it with the cream. You could do it with the pencil. Um, I like the versatility here. And guess what? And it's pain-free. And it's pain-free. Zero recovery. This is one of them outpatient moments here. Yeah. You know what? I never do liner. And this little tick in the outer corner is cute it's actually it's super simple mm -hmm. so between the lashes and a little bit of liner yes. it completely brings it together and um, honestly i feel like mm -hmm. if you're not skilled as a lining person it this is just so easy that you take the 219 brush a pencil brush just do a little flick take your finger and clean it up and get this beautiful okay. almost like i'm calling it ghost liner because it looks like a shadow it is it's it, it's one of those invisible liners that you can do and still be well polish and put together mm -hmm. um now so for like spring lips and colors you know i talked about you know doing some nudes and some definitely some pops of pink um this season i know pink is really really trending yeah uh, and i feel like i see a little pink happening here so i want to catch up with you yes and actually you know what i only i sculpted like crazy today i did no color because i knew we were going to do this okay and i've been loving and i know you love this pink lipstick too and it's called Sakura Season. S Z N. <laughs> Child, let me tell you something. I saw this and was like, okay, Sakura Zen. I was like, look at this. The, look at the the Sakura being real Zen and numb your whole ring of care over there. It Season. makes sense now that I have Season. heard you say it. Yeah. Well, like, I was over here confused, Chow. Um, but okay, so you're wearing that. Romero and I are completely two different colors, y'all. So let's see how this looks. I'm doing this without a mirror. I don't know why I'm risking my life like this. Um, let me grab a mirror. Oh, this is pretty. It's what? a really good color. And watch this. I'm going to do that 90s trend where you lip line, you like you overline the outer corner. Uh-huh. And do this sort of 90s supermodel Naomi Campbell brown lip pencil. This is I chestnut. I have chestnut too because this is a lot lighter on me that I normally wear for a lip. Um, so I'm just going to add a little bit of definition. And because you were stressing about filling in the corners of your lip with the red <laughs> lipstick, I saw your TikTok. <laughs> now, because I'm, I, I would be the one that I'm not filling in the corners for my own, for myself, and I am being really mindful of that right now. You know that is a pet peeve of mine, sugar. Mm -hmm. Disconnected lips are the worst. Okay, so I am connecting my corners as we speak. Oh, this is cute with a liner. Mm -hmm. Like this would be really pretty with a nice like vino liner or like a nice uh, like wine color. Definitely brown for the girls. Now, yes. what about blush? Are we we're blushing right this season? Let's blush up. I love this. I love the. I mean, chestnut pencil is the amazing, MVP. and I love again. Two different skin tones and chestnut works for everybody. It is so good. Imagine this with just clear gloss. Epic, like 90s realness all day and all night. Yeah, so let's get some color up in here. Oh, wait, are we using the same color? We are using the same color. This one is, oh my God, Cherry Blossom, does this not remind you of spring? <laughs> it does. I love the packaging. But you know what's interesting? Because I don't use this. I know you love this Glow Play blush formula a lot. I don't yeah. use it a lot. But look at it, everyone. Like, it's soft. It's like I'm leaving fingerprints behind. It's really malleable. And um, how do you like to apply it? I, I love Glow Play with. So you know what? Everybody snoozes on limited edition brushes for MAC. Remember this from one of the previous holidays, this pink one? Oh, yeah. I love this. I also like my 159S, either I one of them. I like use the 159S, and I just basically, I love that this brush almost is like pixelating it. It's grabbing just the tips of the bristles and tapping. 
So it's you know, almost like you're airbrushing it right onto the apples of the cheek. It does go on quite smooth. Y'all, this feels like, ah, this feels, you know, almost like um, Play-Doh, but not like as heavy and tacky. It's yes. this real bouncy texture that back in the day, Play-Doh would kind of make you feel like. It's kind of cool because you pick up, and we're using two different brushes over there. Uh, I'm picking up all of this good old color, but you can see it's not overwhelming against my complexion. Mm -hmm. And Romero and I are using the same exact color at the same time. It's so pretty. It's super soft, but you can really like add impact. So what I love about this product, Glowplay, is just that you can use it on multiple skin tones. This is why I carry this in my kit. Do my you? favorite was Rosie Does It, but this new color might be my favorite. And it's called HD Cherry Tree. It is. Yes. But, you know, I took my blush a little bit higher. I've been doing this like lifting effect these days with my highlight and my contour. So I actually placed my blush a little higher. I have been seeing that whole mapping TikTok that everybody's doing. Mm -hmm. So they're now lifting everything higher. But <laughs> when you have a longer face, <laughs> sometimes you need to sort of break up the balance between the forehead <laughs> down here. So for me, I try to put it somewhere in the middle, but I totally agree that lifting is definitely a better position. So I end up floating my blush above my brow too. You, so look oh, look at that. Yeah, so look at the difference with like one side where you could see there's color and the other side just looks flat, you know? Yeah. There's less dimension. So yeah. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And this looks great on you. I see where you've just highlighted the tops, which I really like. It's that very Diane Carroll <laughs> dynasty 1990s. Absolutely, honey. This champagne is burnt type of <laughs> dynasty. Yes. But but I love the way she said burnt. <laughs> burnt. <laughs> But this is but <laughs> um, this is called Petallic Metallic, guys. Oh, by the way, just in case it. if you love it, you can um, click the link in the bio. Um, but I'm literally blushing it on top. Well, I guess I should say highlighting the actual blush itself mm -hmm. and slightly pulling it up underneath my brow. I'm using everything that was already on this brush, so it's like cooking all the colors mm -hmm. transfer together, all the flavors, and it is good to go. It yes, is. you better highlight sugar. Look at this, and I'm using the 168 brush, and it's almost brush. like a doe foot, but look at this highlight here. Talk about being lit, right? But what I love about it is that it has this sort of opaly 3D, like My Little Pony, where you're seeing all these different colors, like there's pink and there's blue, and it's very icy, right? It, it, but you know what? It's icy, not necessarily ashy. And that right. is the thing I have, uh, you know, I always struggle with is especially on deeper skin tones for us melanated people mm -hmm. that things, if it has too much silver, it can go really, really ashy. And mm -hmm. then you end up looking casket ready with that highlight and right. foundation. And that's right. not what we want. Which is how I wake up every day is casket ready. <laughs> but no, you're, you're absolutely right. And what's great is because it has so much pink in it yeah. for deeper skin tones, it doesn't look Ashy. So Romero, if mm -hmm. I'm getting this correctly, um, correct, right? Mm -hmm. um, like winged lashes, this invisible elongated liner, and definitely integrating elements of pink into our wardrobe for spring. Yes. Is that correct? Absolutely. Pink is the new black. Pink is the new neutral. Pink looks great on everyone. People just didn't think about it before. But also there's so many different textures and the textures really can make the difference. Like you went over this sort of uh, Play-Doh soft, pliable, sensorial blush, the glow play, as well as this really beautiful, soft, translucent highlight mm -hmm. that you get the most beautiful like opal feeling from. So I love the the feeling and the mood of this collection. And spring is great. Listen, we've all been under lockdown. We've all been in masks for the past couple of months. And right now it's about like showing up and showing out and showing off, like presenting yourself. It's more like re representing because people are, are seeing you again for the first time. So you want to be your best. And you can do that with color. And Absolutely. Yes. And doing color that works for you. Like you can go all out full on color or mm -hmm. you could do something softer. Like there's so many ways to play with it this um, this spring um, season. Um, I love it. I feel like I, what I love about makeup mm -hmm. is we're, we're literally wearing the same as that colors and mm -hmm. it looks stunning yet appropriate on both of us. So agreed. agreed. 
You can't beat that. No, no, you're totally right. Another thing I didn't say about the mascara that I love is that it's a really jet black, velvet black. So what that means to me is that it's a it's a really deep color that looks great on all skin tones and shows up because you know they're different colors of black, right? Absolutely. There's intensities of black. And Absolutely. what I love about this formula is that it is really, really rich. So it really shows up. You can definitely see the difference even without a black liner. It can look like you're wearing a black liner just from an elongated mascara. Well, that's what I like about the brush because by the time you get it on, it gets it so close to the root. It mm -hmm. looks like you have almost have a little bit of like a invisible or floating black liner on against your lashes, which makes them look so lash Fantastic. I'm gonna come real close. Oh, that looks so good on you. Well, thank, thank you, you too. for having me. I'm so excited that we got to do like a quick uh, spring trend look with some new mascara, which I'm obsessed with. Romero, thank you so much for coming. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's always great to spend time with you. And on that note, guys, we gotta go. You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave us a comment. What was your favorite? Was it the elongated liner? Was it the wing lash or the color pink? You let us know in the comments. But most importantly, check those notifications and make sure they're turned on, sugar, so you don't miss out on all this good old melanated magic. Who loves you? <laughs> I do. See you next time. Bye, guys.